Farnborough Reef here. Welcome to the lab. So in this episode of the lab, we're going to talk about why is it so beneficial to have a deep sand bed in our reef tanks. So on these rigs here, I'm going to go about two to three inches of sand. And why am I going to do that? Well, you get a real bioversity of different uh, bacteria in there. What they're going to do, they're going to break down nitrates and phosphates and fish waste and leftover food naturally for me, just like a filter. So that's one great key why is to have that. Plus, it's real natural to the eye too. So when it like, looks like a coral reef, you wanna have that beautiful look to it, the beautiful like you know white sand. So if we look closer here, this is what I ended up picking. I ended up getting this agronaut sand. This is a crushed coral. So one of the benefits to having like a crushed coral sand, it helps uh, regulate your pH in your tank. Keeps about an 8.2, so you're not using any buffers or anything. That really helps as well. And uh, this one here from the bottom of the ocean, how did it get there? Well, if you've ever seen, you know, those large uh, parrotfish, um, what they do, they're like the lawnmowers uh, of the ocean. What they do is they help keep uh, seaweed uh, under control. If we didn't have them, a lot of coral reefs would be covered in uh, all different kinds of algae and uh, seaweed. So what they do is they swim by, they end up, what happens is they end up biting onto the coral to take that seaweed off. And then they end up, uh, the byproduct, the waste from that fish is actually this sand, the crushed coral. This is what they end up doing. They end up eating the seaweed and this is the byproduct of their waste after they're done. And then they just like fertilize the ocean with this. So if we didn't have the parrotfish, we wouldn't have coral reefs. So make sure you don't overfish them. So moving on here, I have 180 pounds of uh, this uh, one to two uh, pounds per gallon of water. So these 60 gallon tanks, we have a little bit of sand we're gonna put in there. So before you end up putting your sand in your tank, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, you're gonna wanna rinse this clean. Um, when they take this from like at the bottom of the ocean, there's a real fine, uh, it's almost, almost like a powder. And if you don't do that and you put it in your tank, it's gonna get really, really cloudy. So try to get rid of much of that as possible. Put it in a pail, get the hose in there, and just, just keep rotating it with your hand and until it's really nice and clear. So that's what I ended up doing here, guys. You can see it's still a little bit of wet to it. It's got it's a really nice uh, Argonaut sand. So I have 180 pounds here. I'll, I'll show you guys uh, what I got. So this is all ready to go inside uh, all three tanks. So just having uh, all that sand in there, guys, is a natural filter. And it's a great place. You can end up having uh, different kinds of starfish that like to uh, turn over the sand and keep it nice and clean for you and need any uh, debris as well. So those sand sifting starfish are great to have. So, and then other things too that are great here, you have lots of little tube worms that are gonna grow in the in your sand as well. Um, near rocks, it's great because pistol shrimp and different gobies like to burrow. And uh, even like wrasse at night, a lot of wrasse, they like to swim and uh, get underneath that sand and sleep at night and they come out in the morning. So there's a lot of different benefits of having this and it's just great to the eye. And just having that bacteria, it's gonna help filter your water. And just with like this crushed coral here, it'll keep your pH in check as well so you don't have to do any buffering. So what we should do now, guys, let's uh, let's get up here. Let's start filling up uh, all of these tanks with this 180 uh, pounds of uh, crushed uh, coral sand here. So let's get up, let's get that her. All right, gang, so here uh, you guys can see, I end up, it's all washed out. So this is uh, like 180 uh, pounds of uh, sand. You guys can see it's a really nice course to it. So I'm just gonna get my uh, get my cup and we'll start putting in these in the, in the rigs. All right, gang, so I got my 180 pounds of uh, sand here. So I just got a measure cup, so let's just start filling these tanks up. So let's just start in the back corner here. Just start dropping her in. So we're gonna try to shoot for about three inches per tank. So by last time when we did all the aquascaping, all the rock is on the bottom. So we don't have to worry about any sand getting underneath. So if we get any pistol shrimps or gobies, they won't end up knocking it over. I like going with the deep sand bed. I always have it. all my other uh, reef tanks I've done. It gives it that more natural look as well. You guys can see it certain look looks better with sand already. And you can get all different kinds of sand. You can get, uh, you know, get the black sand as well. That black agonaut sand. You 
it's whatever you like. That's the great thing about this hobby. Whatever you like. So we'll get this into place. Get some sand in the back. So after you get all the power heads blowing it around, it'll start to settle. So what we can do is we can just uh, spread this around a bit. So you guys can see we're getting a few inches there now. So when you get your water in here, everything will really settle off the around the rocks and everything. But always remember, rinse your sand so you don't have all that fine sediment blowing around. So we got our measuring tape. Let's see what we got right now. So we measure that out. We got practically three inches of sand there right now, guys. It's pretty close. Pull a little bit more in there. Because it is going to settle right after you get your water in. Alright, so we got one done. So let's move on to the other two. Do the same thing. Alright, gang, so we're on to the third tank. So let's get the light, get the sand in this one as well. Alright guys, so here's the, the middle tank, as you guys can see. We have lots of sand, three inches. It's inside the, the cave and everything, so that looks good. Go to the next tank, same thing. It's good to go. And then we'll go on to the third tank, as you guys can see how deep the sand bed is. Everything's all leveled out. She's good to go. All right, gang, so we got 180 pounds of uh, the sand in here. So all I have to do now is just level things out a bit, get it, make it look really nice. Get all the crevices around of underneath all the rocks. So we end up got a, we have at least three inches here of nice sand bed. So we got a lot of great surface area for uh, bacteria to, to grow on as well. So you wanna make sure you get everything down in every little crevice. Check it out for yourselves. So it looks good, so that one's, even that one out. Quite a bit of sand. But everything everything will settle after you get some water in here, get the movement around. It'll all go underneath everything.
Alright, so let's measure this out. So what do we got here? We got three inches, three inches, three inches. So we got three inches of sand all the way around in these 60 gallon tanks. So we have lots of great surface area for bacteria to grow. So in this, as, as this matures, you'll end up seeing this will start to turn like a lot of different colors, browns, purples and stuff, and you'll see lots of different lines of tube worms in there, and they'll all be doing their job. So what you're gonna do is when this becomes, you can see that nasty color here, everything will be really beneficial inside the tank. And if you don't wanna see this, you can just uh, take your hand along here and just stir that up a bit, and you'll end up getting a, a rid of that, uh, that nasty brown colored look and you'll be good to go. So this is it guys, we got end up 180 pounds of uh, sand in here. I'll bring you guys up close, you guys can check it all out. All right guys, so here's the, the middle tank, as you guys can see. We have lots of sand, three inches. It's inside the, the cave and everything, so that looks good. Go to the next tank, same thing. It's good to go. And then we'll go on to the third tank, as you guys can see how deep the sand bed is. Everything's all leveled out. She's good to go. All right, farm hands. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned a little bit about why it's so important to put sand in our tanks. So we got all three 60 gallons. Uh, they're all ready to go. We got all their three inches deep sand bed. So over the course of a year, we'll end up. We'll talk about how much the sand has started to change and why it's so beneficial. So thanks a lot, guys, for tuning into this episode. I really appreciate that. Hopefully you guys uh, tune in next week, same time, same place. So you guys please subscribe and hit the like button.